हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग राजा गुड मॉर्निंग आप सभी का सर्वर एक्सेस का प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो गया अभी मेरा तो हो गया कल ही आया मुझे अच्छा ठीक है अभी आप लॉग इन कर पा रहे हो उसमें ना देख लिया नहीं, आपने नहीं, नहीं, नहीं किया कल शाम को आया था मैं एक्चुअली कल मॉर्निंग का ऑफ एन आवर सेशन मेरा मिस हो गया पावर आउटेज की वजह से अच्छा थर्टी अक्टूबर का सो जस्ट आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू रिकॉर्डिंग सेशन तो उसके बाद ठीक है ठीक है तो थर्टी फर्स्ट का आप अटेंडेंस लगाने का बोल रहे थे आप ना वो आगे, ओके एक मिनट होल्ड होल्ड पीओ से मेरा पावर आउटेज हो गया था ओके ओके से ओके फर्स्ट Uh, I have one question, uh, Raju sir. Uh, in the last thirty-first uh, October session, okay. So, yeah. uh, in the last, you have shown us uh, the open POs and open GRs with the transaction ME two L and ME two M. And we can check the we can check in the PO uh, what actually the status of that PO on the status button. And if you want to pre-closure that, we have to select that uh, line item, uh, the delivery GR base checkbox. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. The basically the question is, uh, do we have any standard reports uh, where we can pre-close all open POs in one shot? Uh, yes, you can do that as well. Actually, there is a mass transaction. There is a mass transaction for putting the delivery completed. So it is a me me mass PO. So can you can you see the yeah. transaction me mass PO? Yes. Okay. Me mass. Okay. Yes, that means it is for mass changes for the purchase order. That means if you have, for example, seventy-five purchase order which which needs to be pre-closed, okay. So you cannot do that by one by one. It will going to cause a lot of manual efforts, right? So for this, uh, SAP has provided a functionality to carry out mass changes into the purchase order. and these changes are at header level and at item level so if i open the purchase order go to delivery this particular this particular uh, purchase order 676 it is at item level this field field so mm-hmm. in this transaction you have to select item level go to fields okay and you have to select the field for delivery complete you have to you, you have to select you just scroll down or okay. you can you can find the field here as well delivery completed mm-hmm. 
Mm. Let me just scroll down. It may be with some other name as well. In quote terms, uh, just a moment. So select this and then exec execute. <clears throat> so what will going to happen? You have to first enter those 75 or 80 PO numbers over here. Okay. Within these single values. Okay. And after putting those, uh, let's do one thing. Uh, Copy that PO and shift it. Yes, let us uh, use this P only. And uh, how it is performance wise? It is uh, it will give good performance or it will have an issue with it. Actually, it, it depends. Uh, actually, mm, this is usually not done by the SAP MM consultant. Uh, this is done by the business. Yes. But uh, maybe in your career, uh, maybe you have um, you have experience, right? People people are using this report to close the field. Sorry, can you please come again? You are working for so long in this uh, in this area. You are aware, right? The business is using this uh, program to close. Uh, exactly, exactly. Because uh, uh, these purchase orders are absolutely lying with the sourcing team with the buyer team buyer who do the purchasing right who do the do the procurement so they are aware so that is why uh, they have to ask from the security team who give them the right to uh, use uh, these mimas po and only couple of uh, people only ha should have this transition not all people should be given because uh, uh, a proper decision, a proper discussion needs to be taken uh, for you know such kind of uh, changes to be done for these mass purchase orders. So, and after that particular discussion only, such a decision is to be taken. Okay. Mm, I'm just trying to find out that field. What is the name of that field? Maybe F1, you can check it out. Right? Yes, we can do that as, like that as well. So I'm just selecting the field and then pressing F1. Delivery completed indicator. It is E-L-I-K-Z. E-L-I-K-Z. -E -L yes, E-L-I-K-Z. And let's go over here and search it out over here. Uh, I don't know why it is not appearing. Uh, let's go to table then. Table. Okay, table is fine. Table is fine. We need to uh, select that field name column first. We, which field column? Field this one. Uh -huh. Click for it. No, no, no. No, Vendor language payment terms. Okay, this is for this is for the header level. एक बार एक्जिस्टिंग फील्ड को कॉल अन्य ऐसा मत ये एक्जिस्टिंग फील्ड को कॉपी करके फाइंड कीजिए दिखा था कि नहीं ये अच्छा अच्छा इसी फील्ड को ना जो दिखाई दे रही है ऐसा हाँ वैसा ऊपर के क्योंकि प्रॉब्लम है क्या उसे कोई भी फील्ड ले लीजिए हम्म ओके क्रिएशन टाइम लीजिए 
एक मिनट हाँ वेंडर ले लेते हैं वेंडर है ना हाँ नहीं खाली खाली ओके बिकॉज़ वी आर सर्चिंग लाइक दैट ओके हाँ वो लेके आ रहा है को लेके आ रहा है ओके ठीक है मुझे टाइम दीजिए थोड़ा आई विल गेट बैक टू यू ऑन दैट ओके तो वैसे मैंने ये तरीका बता दिया आपको कि मीमा पीओ से यू कैन यू डू द चेंजेस okay so uh, we are you know on time okay so let's start our session so today we will going to understand the process of uh, uh, release procedure in purchasing documents okay just a moment so uske liye what we have to do we have to go in the configuration menu the configuration menu is spro reference img materials management purchasing purchase order and under purchase order we will have to select the release procedure for purchase order okay and within this release procedure for purchase order we have to follow these uh, three important steps number one we will going to create some characteristics and we'll going to create one class and those characteristics will be assigned into the class and further this class will be utilized into the release procedure of the purchase order okay and we will going to learn more about what are those characteristics what are those pillars okay so if you can see there is already one class is created and we will going to just check that how this class look like and we will going to create our own class as well okay so now coming back to the word document it is very important to create uh, the characteristics prerequisites for the settings hey rajiv i have one question so far yeah go ahead yeah what do you mean by release okay let me just uh, simplify this word it is actually approval process okay okay thank you approval uh, for example uh, let's take an example of a purchase order which is which is 1000 rupees uh, to purchase some uh, items for office is stationery and uh, this 1000 uh, rupees is not subjected to any approval process so what do we mean that not subjected to approval process that means whenever the buyer whenever the purchaser will going to cre create a purchase order worth 1000 rupees or 1000 dollars the system will not going to trigger the release procedure for the purchasing documents that means the company had given a uh, freedom that uh, no any approval is needed from the head of the department or from the manager manager of the buyer uh, the buyer is, is itself responsible to purchase uh, worth uh, item worth rupees 500 and the item could be anything it could be a raw material it could be some spare parts it could be some office stationeries it could be some some cleaning material for uh, for office some some gardening material some some kind of you know plants fertilizers or any kind of a thing right but beyond 1000 we need approval and for that approval only 
today we will going to do some settings and uh, all those things right yeah okay so the prerequisite is uh, create create characteristics and these characteristics are nothing but plant purchase or purchase group it could be anything with which you want to set up the release procedure if you remember we have a, a, i just want to you know correlate this particular setting of the characteristics or this particular creation of the characteristics with the fact that if you remember we have created purchasing information record so do you remember yeah. we have included four items to build to create that purchasing information record or those four four items where um, can anyone please tell the purchase of material and vendor correct so you can just understand those four items as characteristics because without characteristics you would not be able to maintain you will not be able to create or you will not be able to build the purchasing information record in the system you need those four items you need those two master data and you need those two uh, org levels that is plant and purchase org correct similarly to create the characteristics which is very important that uh, you should have these characteristics with you and not only these it completely depends on business decision that what characteristics they want to choose to trigger their release strategies for example let's take an example of jindal steels they manufacture very big uh, sheets and then they are selling those steel sheets those steel sheet rolls to different car manufacturers different uh, uh, washing money washing machine manufacturers so that they can build the outer body of their you know product so what they do um, let's assume that jindal is ha having eight plants in india and out of those eight plants there is only one plant which is dealing with uh, with manufacturers of some fasteners and these fasteners are very low value item right one small screw is costing just 25 paise for them and they are selling it uh, with the price of 45 paise or maybe 50 50 paise so they do not need a, um, approval process uh, for some particular level of a um, uh, purchase correct but there may be some high value for that particular purchase of uh, uh, the particular pro uh, process of uh, um, buying some steel items okay so in in such a situation they would going to create uh, set up the uh, release strategy for other plants by considering the plant code but not for that plant which is procuring very low value items this that doesn't mean that they are not working on you know any kind of a, you know value based item they are they are working but the items what they are purchasing is of really low value but other uh, plants who are Yeah, hello. Are you still there? I am still there. Are you able to hear me? Now we can hear. Yeah, we didn't hear like the last maybe like a minute and a half or maybe like thirty seconds. Oh, okay, okay. Is it fine now? No, yeah. Fine. Okay, okay. So I was just uh, telling about about you know about that particular plant of uh, that Jindal Steels that um, they are involved in. procuring some low value items and that's why and that is why uh they might not need to set up the release strategy for that particular plant okay so let us take an example that we will going to create the um, release strategy with these uh, um, characteristics and also we will going to create the characteristics for
टोटल वैल्यू एंड करेंसी सो दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग नंबर टू क्रिएट क्लास एंड द क्लास टाइप ऑफ रिलीज स्ट्रेटी इज जीरो थर्टी टू एंड असाइन ऑल द characteristics into this class okay and and then assign the class into the release procedure this is actually a one time activity it is a one time activity and the table for release for po is c k k o so today demo for setting up the release strategy for purchase order and you can set up the similar kind of a release strategy for contracts and scheduling agreement both right for for all these purchasing documents that is purchase order contracts and scheduling agreement the table is same c k q so uh, let me just write it over here the po contracts and sa sa means do you know what is sa scheduling agreement yes yes and for pr the table is siban okay so we will not going to uh, cover up the session for pr reason being very few companies are you doing you know settings for pr so actually it is not needed okay <clears throat> so let's do one thing let me open up uh, a notepad as well just a moment so right now we are in that in the transaction ct04 the moment you open up the added characteristics it will going to open up the screen for ct04 and let us give the give a uh, let us give a the name of the characteristics as this is for creating the characteristics yes it is for creating the characteristics for different parameters which we have just now listed uh, over here yeah. right um, uh, so we have taken plant purchase or purchase group hum log ek kaam karte hain purchase group ko hata dete hain let's let's remove it okay we will just take only these four plant purchase or total value and currency okay we will going to uh, maintain our characteristics with these parameters so let us go to quickly go to here so plant 1710 let's make like this okay i'm just putting over here like this and then clicking on this page create okay this will going to open some fields over here so i have copied plant 7 and I will I will re enter in the description once again in the basic data tab okay and here the data type will be some kind of you know numeric format because our plant is of four digit letter right 1710 okay so this is the input parameters which uh, we will going to enter over here and this is the uh, um, uh, very important uh, um, uh, concept if we want to maintain this particular characteristics for more than one plant then we can select the multiple values over here if not then we can go ahead with the single value so let us select with the multiple values as well so i will show you the benefit of this uh, particular selection that how system allows you to enter more than one plant while setting up the release strategy so we are done with the entry for basic data now the very important that we have to set up the link with the table of the release strategy in the additional data additional data so now i am hitting on additional data and here you have to enter the table of release strategy ce 
KKO. And just remember, we are creating the characteristics for plant. That means as and when your plant is entered into the purchase order, system will going to trigger the release strategy based on the value of the PO. So for plant, the field name is WERKS. -S. Very good. OK, the, mo the moment I hit. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to set up the link between these two. I will going to show you this table, how this table looks. And this table is containing the field. OK, so let me just open up one session. And this table actually is actually a structure. It is not a, a standard table. And how you can identify that this is a structure table. Reason being, our standard tables are always with the four four uh, alphabets. Like uh, they are even you know four alphabets as well. Even in, they are five alphabets as well. But this particular table is a structure, and this is always displayed with the transaction SE11, not with SE16. So I'm going to SE11 and we're going to input this table CEKKO and we'll hit on display, okay? So this, that just read out the description of this table. Uh, Abhishek, can you please read out the display, this, um, the description of this table, what it is exactly? So communication release strategy, Hmm? Determination or purchase document. Very good. So this particular table, can you see it is a structure. A structure means it is a combination of couple of other tables as well. And this is containing the plant as well, your field of plant. So let us search for plant. Uh, you have to just keep a close watch on this field, Lifner. So I'm just scrolling down and you will be able to see your plant as well. I'm scrolling down. Okay, so here it is. Yep. Can you see this Works. plant yeah, plant and it is having the length of four char characteristics. OK, that is why I have entered four characteristics in the basic data. Right. So now I'm going to hit enter and system uh, will go. In sir, I think so. Uh, you have entered numeric something. Uh, yes, yes. Sir. Just a moment. Uh, I'm coming back to that. So format data used from ABAP dictionary. Okay, that means system had adopted this field. So you are talking about this one, character format, right? So, so actually it had automatically corrected the same. I had selected numeric, but system has corrected to the same what is there in the table, right? So, so we can select anything. No, no. You Okay, in this data type uh, tab, can we select like any thing out of like we got like three to four options? Because at the end, this number of characters, it changed to character uh, format.
Hi, anybody can hear me? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. No, Rajiv is restarting his laptop. Hello everyone, uh, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, I was facing some issues with my laptop. So, um, just a moment, I'm blocking it again. I'm sharing my screen with you all. Okay, sir. Okay. okay, just a moment. So hope you can see my screen now. Yes. Okay, just a moment. So we were in this uh, characteristics for plant 1710 and we were discussing about the character format. So it is actually adopting the correct characteristics which is there in the table, what we have you know discussed uh, just a few minutes back. So someone was saying that can we select anyone but uh, it actually that is not the case whatever is the you know correct one that we have to choose for the particular characteristics that we want to you know, set for the release procedure okay so now what we are going to do we're going to save this characteristics plants 1710 and you can see this is saved okay now let us do one thing uh, here in the next, just I'm mentioning that plant one seven one zero is done. Now let us take uh, another uh, mm, characteristics P or one seven one zero. Let us again hit on create and I'm typing the same characteristic over here p or 1710 and same characteristic format and same four numbers and multiple values and here now going to the additional data table will going to remain the same but the field for purchase organization will be different so what is the field for purchase organization it will be 
Yes, someone is saying something. Yes, very good. So this is the field. Can um, are you able to see my C K Q table? Yeah. Perfect. So E K O R G hit enter, and system will going to give you this information that format data taken from ABAP dictionary. That means this particular data has been taken from this table. Okay. Now we will going to save this one as well. Let me just copy this and save it. So we are done with two characteristics. Let me maintain this characteristics over here as well. So we are done with two. Now moving to three. And the, the third one was third one is total value. Total value. Okay. Total value. So select this. And create on edit button total value and here actually this value will going to deal uh, with the amount of the purchase order like thousand US dollars or fifteen thousand US dollars so that will going to be there in numeric format okay and here you can mention this as fifteen and this will also going to include the interval values allowed okay let me just show you that how how I can, you know, make you understand that uh, why I have maintained this 15, okay? So usually what happens in release strategy, we have to maintain the interval values like this, that is starting from 10,000 like this, and then putting this interval icon up to 50,000. So now if I count all my characteristics, all my numbers, so I will going to count like this, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is the reason that I have chosen the number of numeric as fifteen. I can even enter twenty as well, depending upon the value of the purchase order. Correct. Getting the point, guys. That why mm, such type of uh, mm, this huge number is maintained over here, 15 or 20. Yeah, is it because the document number is that many? Is the length of 15 to 20? No, no, no. Not the no. document number. No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, ha have, you, ha have you seen this, what I've entered over here, this one? Yeah, yeah, I see this. So this is the value of the purchase order, the value. Uh, so some purchase order might be 8,000 rupees. Some purchase order might be of 9,000. Some purchase orders might be of... Uh, 11,000. So this interval calculates everything over here. So that is why it is important to flag the flag this field for interval values allowed. And also the number of characters will be in the numeric format, but the length of the number of characters will, will be from 15 to 20, depending upon the value of the purchase order. Okay. Now moving on to the additional data. The table will going to remain the same and we're going to select the field for total value, the total net order value. So we have to again find out total net order value. Uh, let us find it out. Can you see this G net W? Yeah. 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 Yes. So we will going to use this field for our total value. G net W, hit enter. Raji, one question. Whenever we are giving this field, automatically system is taking from that value. Now, why we are giving in the format uh, block? Because in the additional data, whenever you are gaining field, automatically it is getting populated over here, right? Yes, yes, correct, correct, yeah. So usually, uh, actually, uh, even if I am not selecting anything from the drop down, system will going to select it by its own. Yeah. Yeah, so you can just ignore that, that particular step, right? Because... Uh, um, 
if i share my experience uh, i had worked a lot in my career in ecc system so what was happening in those systems this data type was not getting copied automatically what is happening right now so right now we are working in s4 hana environment so they oh. have done some modification that okay. whatever the data type being chosen manually that will going to get corrected automatically with reference to the table chosen in the additional data and also the field right okay so uh, just a moment uh, what was the currency we are using uh, for our purchase orders uh, mrf tires mrf tires okay it is inr it is inr vendor is mrf tires just a moment 674 i think for this we are having the currency as usd usd so let us set up our you know this total net order value with usd hit enter we are we are we are done with everything now enter values are allowed 15 okay and then just select this total value so our third characteristics characteristics is also created okay now let us create another one is currency 1710 so i'm just giving the description so that it should be you know very much familiar to all of us description give the same and here so let's do one thing i'm not choosing anything now okay right let us go to additional data give c k k o going to the table and let us uh, search for currency now currency currency it will be on maybe on the top if, if it is maintained in the alphabetical order d c c c currency 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 yeah currency key can you see this w a e r s yeah so w a e r s hitting enter and so can you see this it 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 choose an automatically character format okay i have not uh, chosen anything so i'm just saving it currency so we are done with all these characteristics now okay friends okay let me just close this screen there is no need to no need of this screen actually and uh, let's come back now now it is a very important to have the class yes you have created both categories four categories yes everything related to the head and data on the field yes correct yes we have only one communication structure like c k k o do we have any other communication structures on the po level no 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 this is the only one this is the only one and uh, one more thing i would like to share that uh, the content what we have chosen that totally not belong to the header level because we have we have created one for plant as well so plant is at the item level okay it will going to consider everything the currency that is also at the item level let me just show you the po if you can see the currency is at item level let me just scroll this uh, close this this is at this is the item item uh, screen yeah, yeah. item overview actually i got confused with the name ekko that is a header data table for purchase order right that is absolutely correct so your confusion is absolutely correct reason being the release strategy tab will going to appear at the header level only so that is why the table will going to store all the data which is going to trigger but this will the uh, the tab for release strategy will going to appear over here only so this could be the reason that the uh, sap system or the sap team had chosen the table at cekko instead of cekpo right 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 so this is cekko and the 
there will be a tab which will going to appear in the last on the header level okay so let us now come to the edit class characteristic and we're going to create one class uh, let's uh, name the class as po class and let's give today's date 2nd november 2022 okay and the class type is 032 as i shown you in, in the word document there are several class so we're going to choose our relevant one 032 and then we're going to create uh, click on the create page okay your class now the very important thing here is that after entering the description of the class this should be in the release status okay actually as a default it is always in the release status so just a double check then click on the characteristic part so what we will going to do we're going to copy our characteristics one by one we'll enter over here okay now i'm copying this one p org total value currency now i will going to hit the hit the enter key the moment i enter hit the enter key system will going to copy the description the data format and everything from the respective characteristics which we have created just few minutes back sabko yaad aa raha na friends abhi characteristic banaya na yeah the description data format everything will going to copy so i'm just hitting enter and if you can see everything is copied from the characteristics the characteristic currency these numbers we have given for four plant 15 we have chosen for the total net order value okay and the currency we have given as usd so what we are going going to do we are going to let us copy this class as well and enter over here because we will not we will going to need the class name as well and i am going to save this so this assignment is very very important so we are done with this two pillars very very important two pillars number one setting up the characteristics depending upon the business need so just for the training purpose we have chosen four characteristics four characteristics currency total net order, order value purchase org and plant you can choose one as one more as well that is purchase org you can you know uh, have some more control uh, over your release strategy that if a buyer m01 is creating a purchase order then the system will going to trigger the release strategy for 10000 if a buyer is uh, raising with the purchase group p01 then system should trigger the release strategy starting from 20000 okay so now we are moving on to the third part the third important part of the release strategy i'm going to over here and here you can see there are sections we have to cover up and there is already a class is assigned. This class is already there here. So what we will going to do, we will going to remove this entire setup and we will be going to set up our release strategy from scratch. That is a fresh release strategy we will, we will going to set. And I'm just going to select this and we're going to delete this release strategy. I do not want this anymore. So we are done with this. This is a configuration change that that's why the transport request is you know getting popped up and let us come back there are a couple of release codes might be there no okay nothing is there perfect we are good release indicator these indicates that if a 10 percent value is changed then the release procedure release uh, process will be blocked okay and some more values will be changed so we we will not going to touch this and these are really strategies so these release strategies are also blank so let's come back to release group and we're going to put on new entries and let us uh, give the name as a uh, uh, some group name uh, like uh, we are creating this release strategy for po so let us give us PO, the group name is PO, and our class 
the class which we have created this one. We are going to enter our class over here. Okay. So one entry chosen, and what we will going to do? Uh, just a moment. Uh, we are going to enter this for, let's say. Just a moment. Let me just come out of it. No. Okay. Again, going. New entries. P1. We'll enter the class. And we are setting up this release strategy for less than 10,000. Okay. And there is another one for P2. The class will going to remain the same because we have to trigger the same characteristics and this will going to trigger with 30,000. Getting the point guys? Just a description. It is, this is just, just a description. So now we are setting up this over here. Come back. Now we are going to select the codes. So new entries group will be, we're going to take our first group as P1. That is less than 10,000. Uh, just a moment. Friends, just give me, give me a five minutes break. Okay. Sure. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm back. Okay. Actually, one question. Yes. Can you take F4 help on this group? F4? Uh, yeah, that is. Click on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have created P1 and P2. Yes. How many P1 may less than 10,000 dia and P2 hmm. less than 30,000 dia? Hmm. P2 karunga, wo P1 execute hona chahiye na? Yes, yes, wo hoga, hoga. Wo sab, sab overlap hoga. Sab hoga wo. Okay. Kaam karta hon, ek, let me do one thing, just a moment. Uh, I'm just coming back. May isme thoda sa confusion hatane ke liye na? May isko ek hi group rakta hon abhi, thik hai? Just a moment. Isko main hatai deta hon main. Jisse koi confusion hi na ho. Wo baad mein banayenge apan dusra wala. So the P1 and P2 that we were just seeing, that was what you created, right? Yes, yes, yes. And this is the intervals that we gave in the class? This is the class we have used. And this class is containing all of our four characteristics. Okay? Yeah. okay. Right? And this is the description for 10,000. And 
right now we are learning that how the release strategy will going to work for this less than 10,000 work. So this is just a, a big structure, but actual values will going to come under it. Okay. So we are done with the release group. Now we are coming on to the codes. So P1 is there. Okay, it is appearing like this. Just a moment. Let me just delete this and save it. Now hitting on new this uh, selecting P1 and the code I will going to give as M1. Okay, M1 description manager. description manager and with the same uh, uh, with the same p1 i can give the code as m2 that is senior manager okay this is how we have to understand this concept so our code will going to remain the same p1 so we are done with this. And to be more precise, just a moment, guys, let me just change it to 50,000, okay? Less than 50,000. <clears> so we are done with the code. Now, directly moving on to the release strategies. Here, we're going to create the release strategies now. So our group is P1, select P1. And the release strategy, we will going to choose as X1. And here we will going to further more refine that release strategy for less than 30,000. Getting the point? So overall is 50,000, that is absolutely fine. But under this, we are segregating, we are you know making two branches in the form of release strategy. <clears> then <throat> X1 will going to get triggered when the purchase order having the value less than 30,000. And in this situation, only one manager will going to appear to do the release process. Okay. Now, clicking on release status, it says if M1 had not approved, then the purchase order will be blocked. And if M1 manager has approved, it will be released. So this is important. Now, moving on to the very, very important part, classification. This is the part, this is the section wherein we will going to enter our actual values with which the release strategy will going to trigger. Okay, so classification. And here you will be able to see all your four uh, characteristics which you have created, which you have assigned to this class in order plant, purchase organization, total net order value, and currency key. Remember, friends? So these are the actual values now I am putting with which the release strategy will going to trigger. If you are not entering any values, the system will not going to trigger anything for uh, uh, for release strategy in your PO. So this is for 30,000. I'm maintaining 30,000 and currency is USD. Okay, friends. So I'm done with this. P1 for less than 30,000. Saving up. So my X1 release strategy is done for the PO value less than 30,000. So friends, so you will going to understand that how it works. Now, making one more release strategy X2 with the purchase order less than 30,000. So group will be going to remain the same, P1. And this will be X2. And this will be for, you can, you can even create for 40,000 as well. There is no issue with that. So, okay. So let's stick to our 
50,000, hit enter. And here, both the managers will going to approve the M1 and M2 both. Okay. And here you have to choose, um, actually you have to choose um, from the vertical side that M1 will going to approve first, but sometime, sometime what happens that this particular selection may go wrong. So you have to, you can correct it later. So once you have selected that M1 will going to approve first, you might be thinking that why we are not selecting this one. Uh, so actually column wise it is selected, but we have to just check whether this selection is correct or not. The system will going to share over here, right? Yes, it is correct. Okay. So if M1 and M2, both the managers have not approved the purchase order, the system will going to block the PO. Okay. If M1 had approved first and there is no any action from M2, the system will, will again going to block it. Okay. But if both the managers have approved, the purchase order will be released. Getting the point, guys? This this matrix, how you make the settings. Hello? Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I restate what we're doing just to make sure that I'm up to date with what's okay. happening? So, yeah. so this is the yeah. field I have chosen, but there are chances that you might stuck up in choosing something incorrect. Let me just choose this incorrect one, M2. The system will and the approval matrix will not going to work properly reason being the order is not correct how you will come to know m1 and m2 not approved it's absolutely fine but right now here in this situation it is now going to m2 but that is not correct it should first go to m1 as m1 and then m2 so this is the incorrect one i have to correct it i am removing the tick from here and putting the tick over here then continue and now checking the release status right yeah this is the correct one but the earlier one was not correct okay so now for this 50000 again go to the classification enter your all the values like 1710 purchase organization is also is 1710 total net order value is less than 50000 and the currency is usd and Guys, you might be thinking that uh, uh, I have chosen for one of the characteristics as multiple values. So that multiple values means you can enter more than one plant, right? So I have just selected over here. I'm just keeping my cursor over here and I can add insert row. But the system will going to allow you to insert row only when you, when you have chosen the uh, chosen the option, chosen the option of multiple values in the characteristics during the creation of the characteristics. Okay. Otherwise it will not going to allow you. So if you can see system is allowing me to enter another plant as well. So getting the point guys for the, how the system is allowing me to insert the row. Yeah. yeah. But this is not a valid for multiple purchasing organizations, right? Uh, no, it is not valid. No, it, it is not valid. But uh, if you have chosen for uh, to add the multiple values, then system had allowed for this as well. Let me just try. I'm not sure whether I have chosen the multiple values for this one. No, it is not allowing me to um, enter one more purchase organization. Reason being, I have not chosen during the creation of this characteristics. Right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, yeah. so let us select this and then we're going to delete it because we will going to work today only for the 1710, not for the 1720. But you can do that by selecting the multiple values. Okay, now hitting enter. Come back and save this release strategy. Okay, you can just click on this simulate release just to activate your release strategy and just close this. Just click on this. Okay, 
similarly we will do this for our x1 as well we have x1 also right x1 go to details click on release simulation then click on this button simulate release just to activate your release so the moment i double click this the description will going to change from release possible to release affected so just just have a close watch on this second word possible the release already affected okay so just close this close this as well now very important to understand friends if everything is perfect in your release strategy then what what will going to happen the system will going to trigger the release strategy with these uh, codes with these strategies otherwise we need to work upon that why it is not working so these are our important codes m1 and m2 and the, our release strategies are x1 and x2 x1 and x2 so let, let's do one thing let us quickly create one purchase order with the value less than 30000 so me21n putting the vendor the usual one and here we will going to enter our all those four parameters what are those four uh, purchasing group? Do you remember those purchasing groups? Sorry, uh, those uh, those parameters, not purchasing groups. Uh, sorry, yeah. my bad. Is it plant, P, or total value in currency? Yes, absolutely correct. Yes, those, those four pillars, those four parameters. So if you can see, I have entered plant, I have entered purchase organization, uh, my currency, USD is there, okay, and uh, and the value, just the value is remaining, okay. So I'm hitting enter key, and system will going to. So system is asking, let's go for one kg. So it is less than 20, uh, 20, uh, less than thirty thousand. So less than thirty thousand means it will be going to. It will going to count everything. Uh, so uh, let's go for 500 kg. So what will be the price of the PO? Go to conditions on the top. Here you can see 12,000 US dollars, right? And if you can see over here, um, let me just check. And you will be able to see the release strategy tab is there. Perfect. This tab is appearing. That means our all the settings for the creation of the characteristics, creation of the class, assigning both of them with each other, and then setting up the release strategy. All this work is up to date. Can you see this? friends, because the value of the purchase order is less than 30,000, and that's why M1 is appearing. Getting the point? P1, less than 50,000? Yeah. So if, if the purchase order exceeds the amount, like maybe 30,000, then, you know, they'll need a approval from a manager. This is why we created this release strategy. Exactly. And gotcha. if, if you, if the value of the purchase order crosses, crosses the limit of 30,000 and it falls under the limit of less than 50,000, then the M2 will going to, will also going to appear over here. And the release strategy will going to change from X1 to X2. Getting the point, guys? Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Right? So what I will do, what I will do over here, I'm trying to change the quantity in such a way so that it should cross the 30,000. Right now, our value of the PO is only 12,000 US dollars. So I'm going to item overview. Uh, friends, uh, everyone is able to... Yeah. Yeah. understand what we are doing and how it is working so yeah. let us give uh, the quantity as 1200 kg and this 1200 kg will going to change our value of the po2 no 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 it is still under 30 oh it's still under 30. yeah let's go with 1500 yeah okay 1500 enter now what is the price 36 very good perfect so this had crossed the limit of 30,000. Now let's go to release strategy. And let's again check. You have to check. And just have a close watch in this, this X1 and M1. Can you see M2 is also there? 
Yeah. Yes. And the release strategy has changed from X1 to X2. Can anyone please share why the release strategy has changed from X1 to X2? Because the value of the PO is greater than 30,000. Exactly. And now it is falling in the bracket of 50,000. 50,000, yeah. Right. But what will going to happen if the value crosses the limit of 50,000? Can anyone please share what will going to happen then? Would it block the purchase order? Yes, it will block it and no release strategy will going to trigger because we have done the settings for up to 50,000. So this system will going to check the limit, check, check the value for 50,000 only. So let us go for 3,000 of the 3,000 kg. Let us go for conditions. How much it is? 70,000. Very 70, good. Perfect. So this has crossed the limit. Let us check again. And there will be no release strategy. Getting the point, guys? Yes. Right? That means no release strategy will going to work. But what we can do, let me quickly go to over here and uh, yes, for this one, I'm going to over here and let me just change the release strategy. Just, just take this uh, kind of, you know, a new business requirement. Uh, just assume that business was working fine with this 50,000 uh, from last three or four years. But what they have decided that we need to expand our purchasing limits. And uh, for 50,000, we do not need this uh, release strategy. We want to expand the limit. So let us go for 1 million. So one, uh, how many zero? It will be six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. For, for X2. And let's go for classification. And I'm going to change this 50,000 limit to One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit enter and let us come back and just save it. So I have changed the limit for release strategy 1000. friends. I mean, I'm just trying to uh, change something because this may come uh, in, in your way uh, that how you can um, make the changes depending upon the business requirement as well. There might be some change that a business may ask you that, can you play, please add one more code, one more code in the release strategy. That means M3 will also going to come as a head of the head of the sourcing department. Right? Right. Okay. Getting the point guys? Yes. So, so let's do one thing. I have done the change and let us again, check and the system will going to trigger the release strategy for this 72,000 as well. Let's do one thing, I don't know. Uh, I would say that we have to create the purchase order from scratch. So let's do that again, ME21N, because this is a new configuration change. This will not going to appear in the ongoing PO. Okay, so entering over here, Let's give the price as, uh, oh, sorry, uh, quantity as 3000. Uh, going to org data. M01. Giving the plant as 1710. Hit enter. Uh, yes, everything is fine. And let's go to condition to check what is the value. Perfect. Now let us again check. Can you see the release strategy? No, and it is as per this new value. So, my friends, friends, you right? Yes. Right? Yeah. What is the, uh, the status uh, that the yellow color M1 beside M1? This one? Yeah. Release possible. Actually, it, it says release possible. It says release possible. Uh, I will going to uh, approve this purchase order. Just a moment. Let me just save it. Save this PO. So there is a transition code to approve this purchase order. It and it is ME twenty nine N. It is ME twenty nine N. So let us open another screen. So ME twenty nine N, and actually it completely uh, depends on 
the security roles which is which are given you know to the user to the approvers 695 and you can see you can release like this you have to hit on this and the system will going to get change and the moment both these managers and senior managers have approved this po this release indicator will going to change from block to release so just have a close watch on this one as well this will not going to change it will going to remain as block only i'm now i'm hitting on this and then just have a watch on this so it this will going to get converted into g release yeah release yeah okay released okay and also at some point of time there is also a possibility that you can revoke or you can cancel the release as well i mean for example you have done the release procedure but due to some circumstances we do not want to go with this purchase or we do not want to go with some changes uh, or some changes needs to be done in this po so you can ask the your different your respective managers to cancel the release so that the buyer can do the changes and then again a new release strategy will be triggered based on the value of the po satu samne aa raha hai friends achhi tarah yes now one shave can we do the reversal process sorry once after releasing the po hmm uh, we uh, just you have saved it right uh, can we i mean if we want to re revoke the po we can we do wow oh, okay yes yes yeah. you can do Fine. you can do in the change oh, yeah. mode right now we are okay. in the change mode yeah. if i hit on this the, the, this release option will go away in the display mode so let okay. me show you again yeah, yeah right. I, i got it okay hmm. this is this is the display mode and this is if you if you hit on this it will going to get cancel document already out so it says it says document already output that means okay yeah the system had triggered the pdf to the supplier this is what the system is you know trying to say right so that's why uh, i mean all these managers uh, who are you know doing this approval kind of a thing they have to be you know very very uh, vigilant very very do uh, that do diligence is needed from there and that everything is fine and then they are you know hitting on this button to do the release process because until unless a purchase order is not released in full system mm. will going to not system will not going to release the pdf in the vendor's email inbox it will okay. not go out of your um, scb system right mm. uh, so, and one more query i mean if uh, i m1 and m2 we have given uh, directly i want to assign it to his uh, employee id i mean manager one will be having some another employee id and a senior manager how do we do it yeah this this is a work to be done by the security people they will going to okay. assign some roles they will going to okay, definitely okay. definitely the employee id will be there in scp system so they will going to give some role to both these people to have access to this transaction no okay. any other person will going to have access to this transaction no okay only these two people let us assume let us assume that purchase order is created by any third person but but mm. these two people have to approve it so that that third person will going to have the access for only me21n that's it no any other t code okay but okay. these two people are involved only in only for the approval process not for the creation pro process so based on the roles and responsibilities that access for the t codes will be assigned to them okay right okay yeah. okay so so friends any doubt so far in this uh, release yeah. procedure yes, hope sir. it is clear no one doubt i have yeah. any doubt or we are we are good no i have no query raj ji yeah go ahead go ahead if you go to define if we will have given in one input then it is go there the define this procedure we will get okay. created not here in one input we have given right oh, okay so okay you so you are asking for codes okay i am taking you into the codes yes so we have created this in one input right hmm? so the question is how the system can understand hmm based on this m1 is the manager because we have given just code right 
Now, for example, uh, like Raju is the manager. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how the system can understand M1 is related to Raji? Actually, uh, what, what happens over here, uh, this M1 code is also having some background settings as well, some standard programs. So that's why they understand this. And also, when the basis basis team or no not the basis team when the security team is giving you the authorization they are picking the m1 code from here, here and assigning that particular role to m1 and that's why system understand that m1 is a manager so that particular work is done in a different transition code uh, and i'm not the right person to show you that how this is assigned actually there are a couple of roles are there and uh, under those roles there is one factor that is activity and under activity these m1 m2 and m3s are assigned so and those particular roles is having these different branches of m1 m2 m3 so that is how the, that particular role works and system understand that this is a manager and also the user id is also linked uh, with all these uh, processes but what is even here we are just given m1 we have created m1 and you have given the description manager, right? Mm -hmm. There is nothing related to it. We have not taken any uh, input M1 from the system. We have created this M1, right? Yes, yes. We have created M1 from our own. From our own. Yeah. Now, the question is, once we have created M1 and mm -hmm. M2, so uh, how the system can understand this uh, approval should go to Rajiv? That is the question. Means, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not getting this point. Because okay, okay, okay. Uh, see, even just uh, M1, M2, and uh, uh, we have released because yeah, you have released, you have released, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, let me answer your question. See, we have created, uh, given these codes by our own. These are not the existing codes given by the system right. because, because these are completely dependent on the business strategy, what codes they want to use. Now, coming on to the security point, this particular manager is definitely a SAP employee, no, sorry, mm -hmm. a company employee, and he is having his own G on his own ID, own ID. No. You, you user ID, I would say user ID. Okay. And with reference to that particular user ID, the security team will going to link the M1 code to his ID and also will going to link the security role for the transition of ME29N. And this is how the system will going to know that this is M1 and he should approve the purchase order. It is so as simple as that. What you're so, saying, whenever we create any release strategy, okay, mm -hmm. these codes we need to give to security team? Uh, uh, absolutely. Yes, you have to. Otherwise, how the security mm -hmm. team will going to know that which, 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 which code is going to work? Yes, you have to give. And you also, you also have to give the username, user ID as well of these two people manager and senior manager so that they can be assigned with the required roles so, th so that they can get the access for ME29N. Uh, now I have one more no question. The question is, suppose uh, uh, I'm, there in the, I'm a business user. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm mm -hmm. a business user. Now, once I have uh, one create any video, uh, Devendra, Aptorasa, Aptorasa, can you please be a little loud? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, definitely. Now, is it okay? Yeah, it is okay now. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, imagine, Raju, my, okay, my, my business user, and mm -hmm. my kya karunga, my 5,000, let's take the same example. My mm -hmm. ye PO create karo. PO create karne ke baad mein $10,000 ka mene PO create kiya. Now, mm -hmm. mere manager ko approval jana chahiye. Mm -hmm. Abhi, the question kya hai? Ye, uh, release codes देना जरूरी है क्योंकि system को पता है system के अंदर में तो रहेगा ना कि Devendra manager कौन है। हम्म हम्म yes yes uh, तो वो automatically नहीं जाएगा क्या Devendra manager कौन है so that is what my question क्योंकि system में तो Devendra manager कौन है वो तो पता चलता है ना and देखे, अगर देखे, Devendra का uh, manager uh, uh, Rajiv any workflow process is used in that actually yes workflow process is also there but uh, for having this workflow settings, there is a need of workflow consultant, right? So I'm not workflow consultant, right? Workflow is a different thing other than this particular settings, what I have shared with you. So what you are saying, that you should go to your manager, how does it work? That in that, 
आपका मैनेजर को फिर वर्कफ्लो के अंदर सेटअप करना पड़ता है ओके वर्कफ्लो के अंदर सो दैट इट विल गो डायरेक्टली इनटू इनबॉक्स ऑफ योर मैनेजर उसका भी सेटिंग रहता है बट इट इट कंप्लीटली डिपेंड्स ऑन बिजनेस अगर वो वर्कफ्लो की सेटिंग करना चाहते हो तो दैट पर्टिकुलर सेटिंग इज डिफरेंट वो हम लोग इसके अंदर अभी नहीं कवर करने वाले रीजन बींग कि उसके लिए एक वर्कफ्लो का इन्फॉर्मेशन लगता है वर्कफ्लो कंसल्टेंट लगता है उसमें तो वो हर किसी को वर्कफ्लो का नॉलेज नहीं होता है उसमें यहाँ पे है वो वर्कफ्लो का लेट मी जस्ट शो यू दैट दैट पर्टिकुलर सेटिंग्स जस्ट मोमेंट ये आप देख रहे हो ये वर्कफ्लो ये एक रहता है इसके अंदर ग्रुप कोड वगैरह इसके अंदर एक एजेंट आई भी बनाना पड़ता है वो वर्कफ्लो कंसल्टेंट बनाता है यहाँ पर और इस तरह से आप वर्कफ्लो भी ट्रिगर कर सकते हो उसके अंदर तो उस सिचुएशन में और बेस्ड ऑन योर यूजर प्रोफाइल क्योंकि आपका कुछ कहीं भी और डेटा तो होगा आपकी कंपनी में और डेटा कि और डेटा में आपको देर इज यू नो क्लियर कट स्टेट फॉरवर्ड इंडिकेशन दैट होम यू टू होम यू रिपोर्ट टू तो वो वहां से वो डेटा ले लेता है वर्क फ्लो में ठीक है वही क्वेश्चन क्योंकि जब और डाटा हमारे पास है कंपनी में हाँ हाँ उसके लिए वर्क फ्लो उसके लिए वर्क फ्लो सेटिंग यस यस उसके लिए वर्क फ्लो सेटिंग होता है लेकिन अगर आपको प्रिसाइसली डिफरेंट यूजर्स को सेट करना है देन यू यू विल बी फॉलोइंग दिस प्रोसेस बट मेजरली आई वुड से 95 टू 97 परसेंट दिस पर्टिकुलर सेटिंग इज देयर बट फॉर दो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हुआ फॉलो द वर्क फ्लो देन दे विल बी फॉलोइंग दिस वर्क फ्लो सेटिंग्स जिसके अंदर सिर्फ ये वाला एक कॉन्फ्रिग्रेशन रह जाता है जिसके अंदर एक एजेंट आईडी भी डालना पड़ता है आपको और आप इस तरह से आप ट्रिगर कर सकते हो रिलीज स्ट्रेटजी को उसके अंदर भी सेम प्रोसेस रहेगा एवरीथिंग विल बी सेम रिलीज स्ट्रेटजी विल विल गोइंग टू बी देयर बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट टू ट्रिगर द वर्क फ्लो इन द यूजर इनबॉक्स यूजर इनबॉक्स में वो यहाँ रहता है लेट मी जस्ट शो यू इन द स्क्रीन जैसे आपका मैनेजर जो भी है तो वो इसके अंदर जाएंगे लेकिन रिलीज स्ट्रेटेजी में जो हम लोगों ने अभी सेटिंग किया He will going to directly approve from the transaction ME twenty nine N. Okay. So, uh, जो भी release strategy में हमने जो release codes create किया है, अगर वहाँ से PO create करने को approval में आपको ऐसे भी business workplace में नहीं आएगा. नहीं नहीं नहीं, वहाँ नहीं आता है. नहीं नहीं. And uh, uh, वो manager को कैसा पता चलेगा कि जि- जिसने अगर अगर मैंने PO create किया ये पीओ करना है तो जिसने भी पीओ क्रिएट किया मैन्युअली मेल डालेगा मैनेजर को नहीं देखिए इसमें कैसा रहता है कि आपको एक इसके अंदर एक डेवलपमेंट भी लगेगा इफ यू वांट टू ट्रिगर एन ईमेल नोटिफिकेशन टू योर मैनेजर ईमेल नोटिफिकेशन राइट इन स्टैंडर्ड फंक्शनैलिटी देर इज नो एनी प्रोविजन दैट इफ दे whatever be the value and mm-hmm. his manager will going to get notified no there is no such standard provision ki wo system wo will going to trigger any will wo aisa nahi hai yahan pe aapko ek development effort lagega so that you will going to create a format of a mm-hmm. email notification and and whatever is the user um, is will going to act as an approver he will going to get the notification and uh, do you know the uh, spro path they you assign this m1 to the any user id or employee id the managers the security team was supposed to do no 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 i'm not aware for that uh, because this is actually their work but usually it happens here let me just show you just a moment let me just uh, extras just a moment let me s u Sixty four S four M M one five. Yeah, this is my ID. Okay, now I am going into my rules uh, uh, roles, which are assigned to me. So these are different roles. 
these are different roles assigned to me. So I can just show you from uh, that how this is done. Uh, employee procurement. Let's select this role, employee procurement. Select it and go to inside. Authorizations. Okay, yeah, display authorization data. Oh, nothing is appearing. I don't know why it is not showing. Actually, uh, what happens that it shows the list of all the roles assigned to me and also different activities what I can perform. So if, if you can see just now I have done the approval um, for those purchase orders, right? So there might be some role which is helping me so that I was, you know, able to approve it. I guess we can see that uh, in SU-53. No, no, no. SU-53 is a different one. SU-53 is a... Yeah, access can Yeah, if, if, you are, if you are facing some access issues, then it will going to show you that which particular objects need authorization. So that is for that purpose. And you have to give the screenshot to the basis, so to the security team. And okay. they will be able to work based on that. So SC53 is a kind of a you know uh, medium with which you can connect with the security team to share with them that what access you are lacking, what access you okay. are not having. So that is for uh, that is for that purpose, not for this one. I don't know. Actually, this is a different system. Uh, just a moment. Uh, central purchase. Let me select this one. Authorization. Display authorization data, moving for authorization fields. Let's see. I don't know why it is not showing anything over here. The status is green. Organization levels. No organization level exists. Trace. Actually, this is, you know, done by the security team. So, Devin, I would not be the right person to share uh, this information. But I can try if something is there, then give you some screenshots that how this is done to make you aware that how this particular link is set uh, yeah, with the user ID. Called, uh, Sorry? Double P O M E. Okay, so this PPOME is a transition which is maintained by HR people, yeah, not I by us. They, they do we need to PPOME, I guess. Okay, yep. There we, can, we have the managers and their uh, positions, right? If I am the resource, who is my manager? Yes, yes, yep, yep. This is the argument. Mm -hmm. Actually, this particular transition is maintained by uh, SHA business. actually it is done by HR people. They are maintaining the history of all the employees in this particular. And also you can utilize this to trigger some uh, approval process as well. Okay. But I'm not very much familiar with this particular transition. So, but I will get back to you with some details as and when I, yeah. you know, I, I get it. Sure, for the sure, particular sure. need of assignment of user ID with the security rules, how this works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No. So, any questions so far? Uh, apart from this, we are done with this release strategy. And one more thing uh, uh, that as you all have got the access, the way we have done the settings for release procedure for purchase order, in a similar way, the release procedure can be done for contracts and also for scheduling agreement as well. So if you can see over here, you can do the different kinds of you know settings for your contracts. You can, for example, you have done this uh, for this particular uh, settings for PO class. You can create some other characteristics for your contract class and create one uh, different class and you can just give one new name, uh, uh, for C1, the C stands for contract, like this release group C1. The release object will going to remain as two only. And 
the class will going to remain the different okay and also one one very important thing that you can you you can segregate your release strategy with reference to uh, the document type as well correct because uh, the document type will going to play a very imp important role in triggering the release strategies differently for different document types for example in 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 case of purchase order we, we haven't chosen any any characteristics for document type but you can do the settings for uh, document type as well because in po the document type will going to be nb but in case of contract the document type will going to remain going to be mk so the moment mk will going to uh, trigger system will going to trigger a different release strategy for for contract and it will be different for nb getting the point guys this, this will also going to remain a different parameters uh, parameter uh, to differentiate the release strategy which will going to get triggered for these two different purchasing documents po and contract and uh, and for contract uh, sorry and uh, the characteristics for uh, uh, just a moment let me just go over here let me just show you the characteristics for document type so the characteristic for document type will be like this doc type and just put mk copy this i'm just showing this so that you will not going to be you know stuck when you are practicing for this and go to additional data and the table will be same but what will be the field for document type it will be uh, where is our table let's go to the table quickly se11 display and we have to select document type can anyone please share where is the document type or the order type yes very good perfect so you have to enter basart this is the document type this will going to get triggered with reference to this particular document type nb and let me just quickly open up one more screen me33k the contract purchasing document category will be we have to we have to select so it will be k k for contract so these are the four important five important categories so please be mindful of that request for quotation is for a for purchase order the document category is f for contract it is k for uh, scheduling agreement it is l so a f k l so we are selecting now k and hit enter and we're going to choose any of the contract uh, let's go with this one we have created just uh, recently for the sugar crystals so this is the document type i was referring to okay so the moment your class is containing mk a different release strategy will going to get triggered for the contract and this will be going to appear over here release strategy in this green flag because in case of contract there will be no any separate tab will going to appear as it is happening in the purchase order this one this type of tab uh, will not going to appear in case of contract no this will be there will be the green um, tab no, sorry the green flag with which you can do the settings but uh, i would say there is some issue in this as as well because this is linking with some other system as well so not sure whether the release strategy will going to work but you can try and if it is not working then it's absolutely fine but you can just do the practice of maintaining the characteristics for contracts in the sap system okay and then you are done so if you can see it uh, system had uh, automatically chosen the character format as four so i'm not choosing it uh, i'm not saving it now you can just you know create it by your own so any doubt so far friends or oh, we are good Last question. This uh, approval we have given M one, M two, right? So till mm -hmm. how many levels we can give? Yeah, very good question. Very good question. Yeah, let me just uh, go to the uh, release procedure once again. 
defined release procedure for purchase order. Now we are going to the release strategy. I'm selecting one release strategy and going to details tab. And can you please count how many codes are there? Eight. Eight. Very good. So this eight is the maximum limit with which a purchasing document can be approved. It could be your purchase order. It could be your contract. It could be your scheduling agreement, right? Yeah. But usually what happens in a regular practice, uh, I would say that no any business organization, no any enterprise, no any you know, company will going to put a lot of efforts in approving a purchase order for eight, eight codes. There will yeah. be a lot of follow-ups. <laughs> there will be, you know, there might be a situation that out of these eight people, eight codes, some might be on leave as well. So what will going to happen? Correct. Mm -hmm. so usually what happens up to three or four are maximum, maximum three, not, not even more than that. Correct. M1, maximum senior manager, head of the department, and maybe uh, fourth will be the last one. And that will be for the director or vice president uh, of the company who should be, you know, aware that uh, we are purchasing something which is for a very high value item. Right. So very good question you have raised. So there, these are eight approval codes with which we can trigger the release strategy for any purchasing uh, document. Okay. Thanks, Sajid. You're welcome. Okay, friends. So uh, uh, this is 9.35 now. And uh, we are done with the release strategy part. And uh, uh, Rajiv, uh, I have one, one, one more question, uh, not at a release strategy. Mm -hmm. So if, if you go to any document types, so you have item category has been assigned to the document types, right? Yes. Like uh, in the practice we have seen, we have removed uh, D for the service. Then we have added once again D in the allowed item categories that yes. has. Then the question is, in the real time scenarios, can we get any uh, um, assignment? Like we need to create item category. I don't think so. I don't think so because uh, usually what happens that system had, uh, I would say SAP had already provided you all these. Yes, different right. item categories list and these item categories list have different different consequences on the appearance of the screen if you remember we right. have chosen d services by choosing d system had done a change in the item level it had given you two more extra tabs for services and for limits correct right, right. Yes. Similarly, similarly we will going to learn about the subcontracting part as well so actually uh, before putting these item categories into picture system has already discussed these with the you know different businesses that what it should contain and what up to what level the screen should get changed to accommodate that particular scenario re related to services or consignment or subcontracting so these are already there i would say uh, uh, with my experience of having working in this field from last 16 to 17 years i have never seen any requirement of okay. creating an item category separately uh, for any business need. No, they are all using the standard one. And mm -hmm. these standard one are having the enough capability to meet the business need. Okay. Right? Yes. So thanks. I would say you won't need to create any new one. These but existing ones are sufficient. And even in suppose in rare cases, if someone asks to create, so mm -hmm. Do we have any path for this or uh, how it works? Or uh, the SAP has never given the path or any tip to create item category? Let me just, let us quickly, we can explore this, you know, collectively. Uh, I do not see any path for yeah. creation of the item categories within this, okay? Uh, I would say if you want to go for this, then definitely you will going to need the help of a vapor, the developer so that he will going to create a new one so that because the just uh, just think about that why you are in need of a different item category reason being 
because the existing one are not working for you because they don't do not meet the business need right. the offer so that's why you want to go so you have to sit with the vapor you have to share the requirement with them and he will going to understand that you need the item category reason being you need some couple of more fields which are not there in the existing item category correct mm -hmm. this is how you have to you know work uh, with the developer and once you are done with this and then you have to assign that particular item category with your document type and then this will going to appear those particular fields which you are you know intended to use it for your business purpose i don't see any option for creating the item category no hope i am able to answer your question um, it was devendra right yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay um, and uh, whatever the things we have done for the purchase order for the release strategy what you mentioned it will be applicable even for the purchase requisition as well as scheduling requirements exactly exactly but there is a little difference in the table for purchase requisition the release strategy communication determination the table is C E B A N C B A N, okay. and for mm -hmm. purchase orders, contracts, and for scheduling agreement, the table is. Can someone please share? What is the table? C E K K O. Yes, absolutely correct. So these are the two different tables which we will going to use it. Okay, and uh, so if there are no any questions, then we can wrap up the session. I have one one question. Yeah, go ahead. Yep. Uh, I am trying to uh, make this uh, purchase order, mm -hmm. but at last uh, it is asking me to enter GL account. Okay, okay, GL account. Okay, so you are creating a purchase order for non-inventory items, but but account segment category K. Y yes. Okay, and you are not using any material. No, I I am using one material. Okay. Can, can I you... share my screen? Yes, you can share your screen. Yes. Raju, I think you missed my name in attendance. Sorry? Uh, you missed to copy my name in attendance, Rahul. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm giving you a name now. Thank you. And uh, you were there on... Um, uh... Okay, you were there on on thirty first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Fine. So, how many people we are having? Thirteen people. But we are we we are having sixteen people in this call. Sixteen people. Yeah, Can... we were having sixteen, but I think right now how few... many? Right now thirteen. Okay, thirteen are there. Okay, that, that's absolutely fine. Okay, uh, just a moment. You are sharing your screen. Yeah, uh, Rajiv. I am putting some GL account as well, but none of them are working. Okay, okay, okay. This one. What it says? Uh... GL account. Uh, this cannot be used. Okay, okay. So, just do one thing. Uh, can you please open one more session? Can you please open one more session? Uh, yes, one more screen. Yes. No, 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 no. You are going to document type. Are you, uh, do, do you know how to open another window? One more, yeah. one more, yeah, one I, more I, window. I... Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Make your screen big. Make your screen big. Maximize um, fully, maximize fully. Okay. Uh, go to ME2L, go to ME2L. Go to ME2L. And you are using the purchase organization 1710 and plant 1710, correct? No, no, I'm using uh, uh, different purchase or? Yeah, I'm using different purchase organization, but I've copied from 1710. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Okay, do one thing. Uh, Put your accounts account assignment category as K in, in this screen. Can you please enter account assignment category? Come down, come down. Yes, yes, yes. Put K. Yes. And just remove, remove the supplier 32 from the top. Remove it. Remove it. 
yes select the select the uh, vendor as 1730031 something like that supplier 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 click and hit hit enter yes 31 31 the second one second one second one yep execute execute this screen yes mm -hmm. oh, wait 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 you have to enter k as well can you please enter k as well k account assignment category k k yes enter and execute it okay it is not appearing then re then remove this vendor remove this vendor again input k remove it again input k and account assignment category yeah, yeah. and ex and execute it no need to enter anything in the vendor no now we will going to have some purchase orders which are already available yes so we hold on hold on hold on hold on can you please click on this uh, this ending with 55 55 55 come come down come down yes no 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 it is it is fourth from the top it is fourth fourth line double click this double click yes can you can you please copy this this gl for your for your work in your PO and also the cost center as well. Hope hopefully I would say this will going to work. Go to your PO. Your PO screen is in is, is already open uh, in the screen. If you can just yeah. Go to account this. No 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 GL account GL remove the GL yes. Paste it. Yes. Hit enter. What it says. The account cannot be used. Please correct. Is it the same? Uh, you have copied from the old one? Yeah, this is the same. I copied. Okay, okay. Um, can you please go to header level? Can you please go to header level? Header in your PO. Yeah, the same, same. In your PO. Close this. Go to header level. Header, header, header. Yes. Or Okay. So, I would say that there might be some issues in your purchase organization and your company code, your company code might not be containing this GL account. Getting the point? And okay. there might be some something there which is not working well uh, when you have done the copying functionality. Not sure how you have created this company code SE20, right? So if you can better practice with the with the with that particular old vendor and with the purchase organization 1710, so this will going to work. And if you copy it properly, then the same GL account will going to work for you as well. Right? So you have to do some, uh, some kind of, you know, uh, work on copying functionality. Yep. That you can do uh, whenever you, you get time. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Right. Uh, but it is very important to properly copy your existing company code with the, um, sorry, your new company code with the existing one so that all the GL accounts will going to get copy into your existing one. And then you will be able to use those uh, existing GLs for your purchase order. Yeah, this will going to work. Yeah. Oh, sure, Rajiv, I'll try once again. Sure, yep, yep. And, and, and yeah, one more question ahead. about this uh, release strategy. strategy. Mm -hmm. We will uh, apply the same steps wherever we go. Uh, am I correct? Yes. yes, 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 absolutely fine. Yes, yes, yes. So this is the standard process uh, which you have taught. Exactly. Yes, yes. And the parameters what we have chosen today, like plant, purchase organization, total value, currency, that was completely from the training purpose. But in the real time environment, you will going to hear a different thing from business that they might be they might want to include purchase group as well. Yeah, they, the they will. Yeah, they will provide the necessary information, right? For like yes, yes, they will currency, going to provide you the total necessary value parameters exactly. Yes, 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 they will. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right.
so uh, okay friends thank you very much for your time today and we will we are going to wrap up the session and we'll going to meet next uh, session uh, with the new topic of uh, inventory management right this inventory management will going to deal with the movement of materials from one plant to another plant store location to store locations different settings and different scenarios for written deliveries cancellation order reasons document uh, material document number ranges we'll going to you know learn more about it in the inventory management in the next session sure uh, rajiv and one one more question yes uh, how will uh, the company ask us question about this uh, release strat strategy they will just say that us, uh, create one release strategy and give the uh, documents actually they will going to ask you the steps the steps so you will going to start your interview question like that first there is a need to uh, first there is a need to create characteristics depending upon the business information those parameters no, and no no not 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 about uh, this viva question like mm -hmm. when we will enter the company mm -hmm. how will the company ask us to create this uh, release strategy they will directly say create a release strategy and give us that documents exactly but before that they will going to hand over you some information as well i mean those important parameters plant codes um, manager details value details all those details needs to be there with you with the sap mm consultant then only he will going to configure okay so we must only know the steps exactly for you the steps are very important but also the business information is also oh. the business information is a prerequisite to start your configuration without which you will going to do nothing uh, because that i mean you need some data to 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 enter into the characteristics and followed by the class and followed by the configuration of the release strategy you need the data right okay okay thank you right yeah uh, you can close your screen sharing uh, uh, abhishek yeah sure sure okay how to quick share stop yes okay friends uh, thank you very much for your time today and uh, we're going to meet uh, in next session till thank then you, yeah till then please prepare that what is what is inventory management in sap mm <clears throat> just read some articles on internet and then we'll going to learn more about right. it okay thank you bye sure, thanks rajesh thank yeah, bye bye thank you rajesh thank you all bye thank you rajesh bye yeah thank you you're welcome bye bye Hello. Hey, bro. What's up?
सर भास्कर हैव यू रिटर्न बाय माय नेम हेलो हेलो सर या हेलो भास्कर या आई आई विल ऐड योर नेम यू डोंट वरी ओके यस सर यस ओके थैंक यू सर या थैंक यू Thank <laughs> you. 